Starts off the match by hopping into Lava. And making the rocket jump back up to Red Armor a very ballsy choice indeed, especially with the damage he was taking there. Griffin, though, he had to spend a lot of time just kind of hunting for the possibility of that frag, so he's actually down by a couple steps here. But picking up YA. Gonna be coming back around the other side here. This is actually a pretty nice play. Griffin can stay safe here and be ready to be on top for the next play for Red. 0-4 taking a bit of LG and a bit of Rocket Splash, but Griffin is gonna be fairly late coming back into that. But it's gonna be nice. A oh yes! Wow! Wow! Griffin knew what that play was gonna be all about. He knew exactly where the positioning was gonna be. He knew the timing of it, uh, and just the Rockets from 0-4 definitely put that down to shame. Yeah, yeah who's gonna have I, the awesome I, Rockets? <laughs> I know, yeah, exactly. exactly. Zero Four is uh, reminding us that uh, his years of experience, of course, he is no slouch at all with that rocket launcher and uh, at that mega kill, those were two perfect ones. So, 1-0 for Zero Four here on Lost World. And uh, a little bit early for Mega, checking it out, making sure everything is safe. And uh, it will be his easy grab. Griffin, on the other hand, having about 165 armor and full health, backing off to the rocket launcher. Being very sneaky about it, didn't want to give away his position, as uh, we're going to see the red armor potentially picked up. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Griffin's being a little bit paranoid at the moment, but he wanted to make sure that he got that armor cleanly, as 200 armor is uh, enough to fight for the next item, which will be, be this mega health. And beautiful rockets by Griffin. There it is. Those are the rockets I was talking about. <laughs> Can I just point out that Zero Four had maybe a hundred combined health and armor more than mm -hmm. uh, Griffin mm -hmm. before that battle, and yet yep. Griffin left with like still a hundred and sixty health remaining? How yep. does that happen? Well, Holy when you've hell. got better rockets and ridiculous. you pop your opponent up, that's that's how it happens. Now that being said, uh, Zero Four oh, is able to get in away. The face. Yeah, Zero Four is able to get away with with the red, but at what cost? Uh, he already has a bit of that shaved off and only full health. He's uh, got really only, yeah, the only one good exit he takes, which was the, uh, the mega health uh, exit. Does get a little bit of a uh, bum rush here by Griffin. Look at the aggression. I'm loving it. Red armor is up. Zero four takes the uh, armor, but also eats a bit of damage. Griffin continuing to constantly keep zero four under pressure. And it being a tied game, of course... I mean, I, I feel like Griffin, even though Zero Four is sneaking away with these items, I feel like Griffin is sort of the, uh, the guy forcing Zero Four where he wants him to go at the moment. And mm -hmm. I will remind all of our viewers that we use Game Surge IRC. Our channel is poundql.tv if you want to join in on the fun. There's a pretty active chat going on right now, so I definitely recommend joining in. And another battle here. They're fighting for position uh, over this mega health. Oh, Griffin dropping down with a strange weapon choice, but it worked. He was able to steal oh, away that mega weapon. and a plasma he ran out of battle. Rocket. Yeah. Okay. Like, I was, I was expecting zero, zero four there. came up behind him up the jump pad, and Griffin heard that and was like, "Ooh, opportunity! Shit! I only have one rocket." And you could kind of see the you know, the mental process going on there. But that'll put zero four up by one more frag. Griffin was thinking, "All right, I've still got position, even if I don't have rockets." Almost put it together with the plasma. Not quite there yet. Zero four still looking to spam out Griffin as he tries to make a move for a rocket launcher, which is so important on this map and not very easy to control. But if you get somebody off nice. the spawn then yeah, you can create these situations. Zero Four's rockets, even the hug rockets, are able to do their job. Griffin is able to steal on in for the red armor, but he's going to get bounced into the grenade launcher corner, and yeah, lights out, Griffin. Four to one, and we're not quite halfway through this thing yet, but Griffin really has to kind of slow things down a little bit and take things down a notch in order yeah. to, you know, yellow up, grab a few yellow armors, and make sure that by the time he comes into mid, he's well stacked for it. But on the other hand, Zero Four, I think he's the kind of guy where if he senses, okay, Griffin's just trying to be comfortable even without a rocket launcher in the yellow armors. Uh, we're not going to let that happen. That is not going to happen. So just as a reminder for those that are wondering what we are watching, this is the Intel Extreme Masters Season 5 group stage. This is the second day of group stage. And uh, so far, the matches have been quite epic. Uh, Uh-oh. Hang on. Vid Blasters took a shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Keep casting, guys.
for the VOD. Okay, will do. Zero four, strong stack. Griffin is making a very strong push here with LG into the mid. Wanted to get himself a rocket launcher finally, but he's still out here and he's still low on health. He could be LG'd off fairly quickly here, but now as Zero Four mo makes a move over towards Plasma Gun, Griffin is going to be able to drop in for Red Armor. Amazingly enough, bit of a huh, bit of a. Uh, Malpredicted spot there by Zero Four. Griffin is hoping to trick out Zero Four by RJing up, but Rocket jumping back up into a stream of lightning gun. That's not going to be doing him that much good at all. Four minutes left here. Zero Four still strong on the frag, still strong on the stack, still in control. And Griffin, now he's finally got himself a bit of health here. Red Armor is going to be up, but he's not going to have anything to come to this fight with. Actually, I, again, I gotta kind of take back what I said here. Uh, rocket launcher, not easy to control on this map, but Zero Four has made the rocket launcher the focal point. Like to the detriment of Mega Health and to the detriment of Red Armor, Zero Four has made the rocket launcher the key here. I mean, all of his denial of rocket launcher, all of the frags he's been putting together at rocket launcher, uh, it hasn't been you know picture perfect. It hasn't been the entire story of the match, but it has been a much more significant factor than we usually see here in Quake Live. And uh, now looking at the groups again, I, I just am sad that one of the three, Griffin, DKT, or Zero Four, will not be able to qualify, because Griffin is just uh, really impressing me right, right now, and uh, I, I kind of wish he took that upset on Hub, because uh, DM13 is really not looking to go his way. Although that is that was some better LG from him from Griffin than uh, than Zero Four, so he actually has a, a, a chance to kind of sway the momentum. A botched rocket jump certainly isn't going to help, but uh, if he can string together um, a, a few good item pickups. Uh, he he's gonna have the ability to, to really sway the momentum here. Um, he just needs to make sure that zero. Oh, and they're going head to head. A nice face rocket. Griffin is gonna come out with another frag. Just three frags separating these two players. But Griffin is left with very little health. Uh, did not get uh, any of uh, any of the major power ups on the map for this round. So um, I think zero. Well, yeah, after that frag, I mean. Positioning. Griffin was a little bit weak there, and he couldn't exactly control Rocket Launcher or even show up to do damage at Rocket Launcher the way that Zero Four has been for the bulk of the match. But hey, in Arrowwalk, we saw an amazing comeback by Zero Four. Griffin might be able to pull something, pull something together with an assisted rocket jump like that. Griffin might be, be able to make a move down for Red Armor. In fact, Red Armor still being up. A very nice read by Griffin. Didn't get tricked out by Zero Four's Tom Foolery heading back through the teleporter. It's going to be a fight at mid. Griffin is willing to go. All right, screw the stack screw position control it's going to be a nice. mutual fight and a mutual frag and actually griffin is going to get a better spawn there but unfortunately it's going to be right before mega comes back up this is not what griffin yeah. needs right now <clears throat> yeah that was unfortunate for griffin it really slowed down his momentum of course a minute 30 on dm13 that's one hell of a tall order to try to get four frags as uh spawns are pretty rare on this one considering that uh, there's a lot of map geometry that will uh, keep you from oh nice cut off with the rocket jump and maneuvering by Griffin in order to close the gap to three <laughs> zero four says this is unreal uh, three frags the difference one minute I mean there is time technically but uh, Griffin's gonna have to catch zero four one more time let's go see where he's at actually as zero four just put himself in a very bad position and Griffin should be able to pick up yet another frag the shotgun is pretty decent I don't know. from zero four though Griffin Trying to collect an unable. Was... Griffin says, OMPG. Oh, it was mother very good fucking damage, God. But you gotta admit, that was, <laughs> that was a Blitzkrieg play. That was a do or die kind of moment because the positioning was not ideal. The stack was not ideal. It's not like he could just walk into zero 04 and pick up a frag. And now zero 04 for the last 30 seconds really is going to hide here. We've seen this work for Why like not? A good, what, 40 see... seconds before? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> but. You know, that was a last ditch Hi. effort, and Griffin <laughs> finally comes back to him, but now Zero Four can kind of slow spawn this. 15 seconds left, three frags. Yeah. It's going to be yeah, a no very, problem. very close game, a closer game than the initial half would have predicted, but uh, <laughs> Zero Four is so funny. Just tell me that he's not going to be able to find him one more time. That would suck <laughs> so hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was very, very well done, but that last play, yeah, Griffin didn't really have anything to go on there but just blind luck. And even then, he was able to take 0-4 to down, what, 30 health or so? 
almost, mm -hmm. but no yeah. dice. GG. So yeah, um, a, you know, it's a shame that unfortunately uh, our our vid streaming software took a crap in the middle of uh, that matchup. But yeah, I, what was up with that? Uh, just it crashed. You know, let, let's do something that we haven't done uh, in a while. We're gonna do a little bit of a tour of the map since Zero Four needs to uh, go check on some settings real oh, quick. Wait. So, all right. I mean, we're welcome to welcome to Blood Run, and uh, he hopped right back in. So as soon as they go live, of course, I'll shut the hell up. But we've got Red Armor spawning out here on this platform, making it a very uh, kind of weak position. You got to watch out for a lot of incoming fire from several entrances. As you can see, there's uh, an entrance below near this rail gun. There are two entrances from up top. Uh, from the near side of the red armor, there are these two entrances. Let them know that yes, we are ready. And um, if we hop through the L-shaped hallway where there's some armor shards, you'll find a yellow armor just picked up there and a rocket launcher. Down at the uh, this long, narrow hallway where rockets can reign supreme, we have a uh, mega health spawn, which will show up in about 12 seconds. The lightning gun down at the end of the corridor, following this pathway up, the jump pad of doom, because uh, if you ever caught back there, you tend to die. Um, Not that you've got, Yeah, exactly. You've got the plasma gun and what we like to call the plasma yellow armor, as, of course, it's next to the plasma gun. Hey, imagine that. This 50 health can uh, help you recover once you get your ass kicked. And um, you can also try to steal it away and keep it away from the guy that's injured in order to make him uh, continue hunting for a little bit of uh, the good stuff to get back into the fight. Uh, really quick on these teleporters, we've got the one here near this yellow armor and near the rocket launcher. I'm going to take it now and you'll see that you pop out on the other side of this stairwell near the red armor. So we're going to go live in five. I'm going to hop into Destruct's point of view as we kick off. Jahar, take us away. Sure thing. Starting off here with this truck, yellow armor and a mega. A very quick, very nice and clean start for him. And OMG, red armor also up. Zero four is having to depend on plasma yellow. Not getting a very nice spawn for him. And there are some players who are still kind of iffy about the current spawn system, even with the grenade launcher spawn removed, which is objectively a nice thing. But as zero four nice comes rocket. back into the rocket launcher, destruct is going to be nailing him down. Zero four down to one frag, and you can see he didn't really have anything to work with uh, during that first little bout there. Zero four. Popping back through the teleporter with the railgun, he's going to be able to trade hits here. But, but Destruct still gets away controlling red armor. Mega health coming up in a second. Destruct is pushing the fight to the pillar, though. Zero Four is going to have a tough time getting away with this alive. Maybe he can get the hit in. Yes, he can. That is going to be a vital hit for him indeed as he drops back down for a rocket launcher. Now, this is, again, a very, very important thing for him, and he's not quite sure he wants to make that play quite yet. Not until Destruct goes back through the teleporter. Destruct nailing a rail in as he makes his exit, though. Zero Four is going to be a little bit antsy here. And Destruct is on his butt and will uh, shaft him straight up the pooper. Destruct, honestly, I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the beginning of this, uh, with this matchup here. Of course, uh, I believe this was Destruct's pick and Zero Four picking Arrowwalk, if I recall correctly. Mega health in Destruct's hands, but Rockets will shave it all off. 53 health, 14 health now for oh, Destruct. Goodness. And you can hear his model yelling in pain as uh, he is extremely riskily hanging out here trying to figure out where Zero Four is going and uh, he's, cr he's crossed the map for the 50 health. Uh, very uh, nice, well thought out play by Destruct, showing his wisdom. In that first minute there, Zero Four was hitting absolutely nothing. And that's oh, not going to last as he hits an amazing prediction rocket. I don't even know how, how he knew he was going to come out there. I guess audio cues, and that's a full-on face rocket. So pick, after picking up that mega health, he has just a massive stack advantage. Uh-oh. Uh, but he's uh -oh. caught with his back turned. DKT playing the quiet game behind the pillar. Oh, and Zero Four balls enough to make the rocket jump up again, but he knows it's the right choice. He knows how weak Zero, or excuse me, DKT is, so he should go aggressive here. I'm not even sure he wanted to pick up that red armor. He may have just wanted to go all out, balls out, aggressive, because he is down three frags and he needs to start uh, equalizing that. Yeah, but you know, I have to say, <laughs> Destruct, I, look at the how he's played this. He almost got the frag there. Zero Four saved by the Mega and is able to pick up frag number one for his uh, side of the scoreboard, but really destruct. You know the the, the two pot shots um, over near the uh, exit 
uh, of the L-shaped hallway uh, at the red armor. Um, he hit two pot shots and immediately ran and uh, fired off another shot, predicting Zero Four to be hungry for the frag and uh, defending himself.